Hey there, YouTube. How's it going? Um, yeah. Anyways, I want to do a video here. Uh, I tried to do this same video early this morning. Did it on my uh, laptop uh, webcam. <coughs> and that didn't work out too well. First things first, we got a pipe. Got a body Briar pipe. I don't know if you can see that. This camera really don't have. Anyway, uh, body Briar pipe. Empty. Empty pipes are always a problem. So let's pack that up with some, once again, PA Dutch Street. I like this stuff, getting kind of low on it. <clears throat> don't know if I want to order more. Or just dig into some of the other tobaccos I have. Um, I I don't have any Carter Hall. Uh, a lot of a lot of my old viewers knew that uh, Carter Hall man was my you know like my cereal in the morning. You know every morning I woke up I had Carter Hall in a oh god yeah talk about a close up but I had a Carter Hall in my uh, corn cob every morning, um, which I don't have any right now, and I haven't bought any in a while because of the uh, stash of tobacco I have. Um, oh, another thing while I'm on the corn cob, you know, I I put these down for a long time because I was smoking them, like I said, every day, you know, sometimes all day long, and I noticed they get a foul taste, and from what I read up is they got that way because moisture got in them um, so it got a little bit of a funny taste to it but I, I put it down for God about three months I haven't touched this corn cob uh, about a week ago I had my first bowl out of it um, and it, it, it tasted great I don't know if it just got a chance to dry out um, or I wasn't you know letting it rest enough but now it's smoking like it was when I bought it. I mean, this thing is, uh, you can tell I put a lot of wear and tear on this thing. I mean, look, it's, uh, you know, brim's all burnt. Uh, this uh, stem is originally clear, you know, clear amber stem. But uh, now I'm loving it again. So um, before you throw the corn cobs out the door, um, definitely give them a try. This one here. Um, it's a Missouri Mershon. Um, I did not get this one from a, uh, from Aristocob, uh, dot com, but I did get, uh, a country gentleman a while ago when I was not on the, uh, when I wasn't able to get on the air. <clears throat> so now I got, uh, uh, four corn cob pipes. And don't give up on them. I really like them. Anyways, let me, uh, light this bad boy up here. Um, really good little homemade tamper there uh, I like these things my wife actually made this one we made like uh, 20 of them I don't know if they got lost uh, in all the moving that we did or <coughs> or if uh, they're still packed up. But anyways, I'll dig them out eventually um, and uh, offer some of them to you guys if you want them. Um, anyways, the first time I did this video, it was 16 minutes long, so I'm going to try to cut it down. Um, pretty much just want to you know, to get on and talk about some of the things I'm doing right now and some of the things I'm into. Um, uh, the first one is uh, gaming. I've been game. You know, I've never been a big gamer. Like, you know, I, I got a PlayStation 2 and I can get on it and I'll get addicted to a game and I'll play for a month and put it down and not touch it <clears throat> for, you know, six months. So, not really a big gamer, and um, I played a couple of online games that were alright, 
but right now I found one. Uh, it's Alora, which is a really good game. It's a free online uh, game. Uh, Alora, sorry, Alora.com, and you go there and you can uh, create a free account and play. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying that. Just started getting into that actually. So we'll see how long it lasts. Ah, uh, next. Oh, here we go. Everybody's always doing what you're reading now. Well, I'm reading uh, The Broker by John Grisham. It's a pretty good read. It's not the first time I read it. I had the uh, book laying around, and instead of going out to a a tag sale or something. Well, we know it's winter time right now, so there's not many of those. You know, getting another book, I figured I'd reread it. Um, if one of you guys are interested in reading this when I'm done with it, I, I'd be more than willing to, uh, you know, swap out books. I I get almost all my books at tag sales, either tag sales or you go to the library. They got a bin bin full of free books. Um, Very rarely do I check a book out of the library. Um, yeah. Um, God knows, for one, I move around a lot. For two, I don't need to be running off of a library book and having the, uh, you know, the Mounties chase me down for a library book. Um, and I don't need to set it somewhere, forget about it. And anyway, it wouldn't be fair to somebody else if I, you know, forgot to bring it back. Hmm. So that's a good book. If you're interested in it, let me know. Uh, if you want to swap one up, that'd be cool. I mean, this thing's in really good shape. All the pages are not ripped, well taken care of. <coughs> um, okay. Oh, uh, what's next? Uh, movies. That That's one. This morning, actually, I, I was, you know, I got on the uh, YouTube free movie site there. Uh, up top it says movies along the top of the uh, page you click on there and um, it gives you uh, different search options you know for uh, the uh, genera movie or whatever that you want to see but it's got free movies in there too well in there there's uh, documentaries free documentaries and I don't know if a lot of you guys are into bluegrass and uh, blues and stuff like that but I am you know I mean I, I, I'm I don't do a regular diet of it, but I, I hit times where, you know, it sounds really good to me and I just want to hear it. Um, a lot of times if I'm sitting back having a drink with friends or not, I like to hear some blues, you know. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, the name of the documentary I watched this morning was Down from the Mountain. And it was <clears throat> basically a documentary about uh, Ralph Stanley and the people that did the music for the movie uh, Oh Brother, We're Out Thou. I love that movie. I don't know if uh, you guys have seen it, but uh, a really good movie. If you haven't, you know, seen it yet, check it out. But you know, it had some really good bands in there, and it actually showed them playing on stage and uh, everything. Uh, it had bands like uh, the Fairfield Four, Alice and Crowd, Emmy Lou Harris, Chris Thomas King. Now that boy can sing. He sings the, uh, one of his favorite, my favorite songs by him is, uh, Bootleg Whiskey, which is really good. I wish I had the, uh, talent to pick on a, a guitar or a banjo like some of these guys do. Uh, the Cox Family, Colin Linden, um, yeah, Gillian Welch, Gary Rollins, you know, just a bunch of really good stuff really good music um you know so if you want something interesting to watch get on there and check that out um you know you might enjoy it uh other than that i really haven't had a chance to watch a lot of new movies um right now we don't have cable or nothing or direct tv so i've been re-watching a lot of old dvds but uh i was at my father-in-law's house uh two weeks ago, 
and we got to see Grown Ups with uh, Kevin James. Funny? Oh, let me tell you, funny. Uh, Kevin James and Adam Sandler. Um, yeah, the, uh, what's his name? Uh, he played Deuce Bigelow. Um, anyways, yeah, a, a lot of good actors in that. Really, really, really funny. Um, so, check that out sometime. Hmm. This is going to be a series of uh, videos I got to do today. I got to do three. Uh, one for a contest and one for Kyle's dad, 77. Uh, I want to give some quick shout outs here. I think I'm going to beat my clock. First one is Kyle's dad, 77. Phil, I want to say, hey, what's up, man? Long time, haven't seen you. Uh, still looking forward to catching you on Skype. Or text me sometime if you got my number. I'm sure you do. Um... Next my month, Vlog Tom. <clears throat> uh, haven't seen a lot of videos by him come out, but uh, you know I'm sure I'll get back on it. Uh, he puts them out once in a while. Uh, another one, uh, Johnny. Oh God, uh, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, John, you probably know who I'm talking about. John. Don't you hate when that happens? Anyways, my month vlog introduced him to uh, YouTube, which was really cool. And his name will come back to me. I know as soon as I stop this video. But if I think about it, I'll put, I'll put all these down in the uh, description. Uh, check all these guys out. Uh, we got Matches 860. Really interesting videos. Uh, I like videos that make me think. You know, it gives me uh, a, a good thought goes along with a good pipe. You know, if you got a good thinking process going on and you're smoking a pipe, it just seems all to come together. I do my, my best thinking when I'm smoking, tell you the truth. If I got a problem or a situation I'm trying to figure out, I light a pipe and I take my time. Usually by the end of that pipe, I have my solution. Mm. Next is, uh, mm. Stogie <laughs> Farts. Real funny guy, man. He's really got to do something about that gas, but really great guy. Go check him out. Definitely. He's got uh, some real interesting videos and interesting topics, topics also. And uh, I'm still waiting to see if his wife's going to kill him for smoking indoors uh, or not. But he didn't mention it again. Uh, next is uh, Night Door. Night Door, uh, he put out, you know... Some good videos also. He put up a video of uh, him and the, his friends, you know, hanging out, smoking pipe, and drinking some ales. And there was a few other uh, pipe presenters there. And it just looked like a, a hell of a good time. I, I would have died to been there. Um, it was really, really great. I think uh, the professor was there. Um, <clears throat> Her flick was there, I, I believe. Um... And if I'm butchering, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, <coughs> another guy that's kind of new that, well, new to me. You know, I've been gone for a little while. But uh, another guy that's new um, is Birch5077. Really good guy. Uh, really interested in pipe smoking. And uh, really, uh, you know, digging into it. Like, you know, you can tell he really wants to make it a, a, a satisfactory hobby. Um, and I think he's going to be a good addition to the uh, community. <clears throat> Everybody's, uh, you know, pretty much a wonderful addition. Uh, unless you're wearing leather gloves. And... Never mind. But uh, next is uh, Simon Leduc 77. I, th I think I pronounced that right. Uh, Simon, if I messed that up, I'm really sorry. Mm. 
a great guy. I uh, I seen his video earlier, his comeback video. He's been gone for a while. His father had passed away. Um, <clears throat> and just by looking at him, you know, I, I thought he was a, a lot younger than he is. Uh, well, than I think he is. Uh, I thought he was in his mid-20s. But it says, uh, you know, Simon LeDuc, 77. I don't know if that's his birth year. I'm assuming it is. So that would make him 30. Five, four, something like that. But uh, anyway, Simon, if you're watching, um, my condolences on your father, man. I uh, I lost my pops seven years ago now, and it tore me to pieces. I lost my mom when I was 17, and my dad went when I was 27. Yeah, and uh, I just I fell off the deep end. So hold in there, man. You got some really fond memories of your father. He got one of his beautiful pipes. Little sentimental things like that are always nice to uh, remember your pops by. Uh, my father was a pipe smoker. Um, but when he passed away, a uh, company where he had lived had came and cleaned out all of his belongings. And uh, <clears throat> a lot of his stuff ended up in the trash. So I was really upset about that. But anyways, moving on from there. Um, yeah, you take it easy, Simon. Go check him out. Really good guy. Uh, seems like by his videos, haven't got a chance to talk to him, really. Um, last but not least is uh, PA Pipe Guy. Man, I want to just say, what's up, Mikey? Man, I haven't talked to you forever, brother. Really. Uh, that guy's awesome. He started smoking pipe. Had a big problem with trying to taste the tobacco. Couldn't get the uh, the flavors out of the tobacco and whatnot. But he, uh, you know, he stuck in there and uh, let his palate develop. And by the sounds of it, he's starting to develop his palate and starting to be able to uh, taste tobaccos. And I think he found some uh, tobaccos that he really likes. And uh, he's been on here qu quite a while, sticking in there. And uh, really, really good guy, PA pipe guy. Um, his name, like I said, his name is Mike. Um, go check him out. Check out his channel. Subscribe. And all that good stuff. But I'm going to cut this short. It's 17, almost 18 minutes long. It's longer than my first one. I'm not redoing it. So, if you watch it all, you watch it all. If not, that's fine too. I understand. But, uh, you guys keep them smoking. I'm going to, uh, cut this video and start another one. Alright, take it easy.